there was a story over the weekend that made me chuckle probably more than it should have to be honest um it happened in wolfsburg germany at the porsche pavilion of the volkswagen's auto stop uh yeah auto stop museum so apparently i think it was nine climate change activists decided to come in in the middle of the day on thursday uh and come in there and glue themselves to the floor to basically make a scene and draw eyes to their cause and to make a stand against specifically Porsche and Volkswagen. Um, so normally the playbook for this is that, you know, the police get called and the media gets called and then everybody shows up at about the same time and boom, you've got your perfect photo op of all the protesters being taken away, unglued, unchained, whatever, whatever they happen to be doing at the time, and then they go away, and it makes for a big, massive news story. But these guys took a different route. They recognize they recognized the right to protest, and they literally just turned off the lights, turned off the heat, and freaking left, um, and left those guys in there all night long. Did not give them the media exposure that they were looking for. I chuckled a good bit because I feel like that would have been my response to a situation like that. I thought it was pretty dang funny. Um, yeah, so they left him in there, uh, and now there's a big uproar. Apparently, they, they showed up the next morning with cops in hand and immediately arrested everybody. They got him on trespassing, coercion, and property damage. We'll see what happens here, but, uh, I mean, this is a playbook that we've been seeing play out here for a couple of years now. I'm not sure if you guys have uh, paid attention, but... Lots of sporting events. I believe there was an NBA game last year. I've seen it happen at some uh, football events. Um, they, they interrupted the British Grand Prix, the Tour de France. Uh, and then most recently, I saw a video where somebody took tomato soup. They somehow got into a museum and destroyed a priceless uh, Van Gogh painting. So I am glad that someone finally stood up to these pricks and did something about it. We'll see how this changes things moving forward but I thought it was pretty damn funny.